Welcome everyone to another episode of Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. So, I hope you all enjoyed the last couple of episodes. Like I said, um, well, the battleship versus torpedo boat didn't go that well, but at least we did the undefended convoy attack. That one worked. So we're now going to have a look at the arms convoy attack. So the objective is to raid a heavily defended convoy. You can build an expensive uh, battle cruiser or create a flotilla of cheaper cruiser types. The convoy is escorted by armored cruisers and a pre-dreadnought. Your mission is to destroy all cargo ships within the time limit. So it's all cargo ships. That doesn't mean that we have to kill the destroy the rest of the fleet. Indeed, sink 100% of the transport ships. We have 60 minutes to complete this objective. And um, yeah, so we have to think about how to tackle this issue. Um, because we have a battleship here, um, it, I don't know whether we can combine several of these, but it might be a good idea to focus on a battle cruiser then instead. Uh, so that means that, well, let's first give it a try. So I think we will go for what shells and torpedoes. Let's see. Better torpedo launcher weight, more gun damage, more range. I think guns and fire control is the way that I like to play. So, um, we could choose for a battle cruiser, an armored cruiser, semi armored, or a light cruiser. Of course, we are not going for the light cruiser. We have uh, 24 million. I uh, let's see. So it's roughly. I'm contemplating between the armored cruiser and the battle cruiser. Uh, the battle cruiser can be up till two and a half, uh, 22 and a half thousand tons. Stability is not really that much different either between the two. But resistance is a lot bigger or a lot heavier for the um, Armored Cruiser 4, which would be this. But okay, let's let's give the Battle Cruiser a try. Uh, bulkheads we go for standard, range we go for short, uh, we go for. Well, 28 knots should be sufficient. Maximum weight is... Well, let, we can always adjust that. We go for turbines. We go for semi-oil. We go for induced boilers. We will put in an auxiliary engine. And we will put in a advanced propeller shaft. Yeah, let's do that. Better turning rate is always nice. Then we go for, let's say, the lightweight, but still affordable Harvey Steel. Uh, barbettes, well, um, let's not choose there. Anti-Torpedo, let's go for one version. Uh, we will go for a single bottom. Um, we will just do the standard bulkheads. Well, maybe we go for the advanced, but let's have a look. Uh, Anti-flooding is nice to have, I would say. And well, citadel protection, underwater protected deck. Uh, I'm not so sure yet. Well, we could. Hmm, let's see. Maybe we go one level there. Okay, so. Then we go for standard shells, we go for standard ammo, uh, I don't know whether we will put in any torpedoes actually. Oh, okay, then we have this. Um, let's see, what will we select? So this is less penetration, more HE damage. Well, HE damage is always nice against these transporters. I think this might be this 
This might be maybe the best one. It's also the yeah, no, the cordite shell is a bit more advanced, but the white powder is is perhaps I think nicest currently. We can go for a bit more advanced turret rotation. We can go for the automatic run reloaders. I think that would be a good idea. We uh, will not, yeah, not put in any exceptional radio. Oh yeah, range finders, that's important. Oh, here the belt. We will up that as well. Let's go for eight and a half inch. I think the deck is fine. Uh, extended is fine. Uh, the conning tower. Let's go with a bit, bit higher there. Ten inch turrets. I always put in a bit more into turrets than what we have on the deck. Okay, let's say an inch more. Same goes for the top, two and a half inches. Secondaries, we can go for four inch. Okay, but we have to take a look at the cost because ideally I want two battle cruisers. And for the plan, we just have this single version. Okay, then we go with one advanced tower, place it all the way to the back. Uh, we put in a secondary tower. Um, Let's see. This is expensive actually. Maybe we go for a rear three. But I still will have to see how this goes. Let's let's first place a tunnel. Um smoke interference, wide tunnel, medium tunnel, large white tunnel. Oh we can put that here. And we get actually a pretty nice 0 0.034 knots per square uh, per uh, second. If we put in one more, will that increase? Yeah, it will. Um, mm, yeah, medium. Well, that will also not fit. What will fit here? Nothing. Ah, a small, a small one would fit. Maybe you can put that in. Okay, so and now we still have to put in the guns and perhaps I guess a second return. Does it actually help? Let's see. Uh, yeah, it did. It does. Okay, let's put that in. Then we put in a secondary tower. We still need to keep an eye on this. We can always, of course, lower the displacement. Uh, that will help as well, I guess. Maybe we should do that already a bit. Guess it makes it a bit cheaper. Something like that. Maybe eighteen thousand tons. See, it shifts along, so it's uh, it's okay. <coughs> the smaller we can get away with, the better, actually, because that will help for uh, for not getting hit. Okay, let's see. So we need center line guns, and with this we go for the ones that actually have still decent reload speed. I think it's the 12 inchers that are like heavy hitting, but still have a decent speed of reloading, because these are really uh, very slow to reload. So I think we we just go. Oh, we might go for the three barrel, um, 12 inchers. Can we actually place a barbette? Oh, we can. <coughs> so we have medium and we have big superimposed. So if we go with a medium barbette, and then we go with this, I guess, a tree barrel. Does it fit? No, it doesn't. Ooh. Um, so what can we do then? Does this fit? No. It does not. How does this work? If we now do a big... Ah, we can't. We cannot. Put in a big superimposed barbette. 
But what's a medium gun then? Is it only secondary? Like something like this? Yeah, okay. Okay, well, maybe we can actually put that in. Um, if we go with a 12 inch three barrel here in the front. Yeah. And then we put in a secondary gun, the heaviest that we can still get away with, like this. That looks nice. Then we need another main gun. Oh, not a side one, but a center line gun. 12 inch, 3 barrel. Uh, weight offset to the front is now, is it that bad? It's 26%, so we definitely need to put something. Maybe we can go with two two barrel guns. Can we put in a large... Yeah, we can. And we will make use of that. Another centerline gun, 12 inch, two barrel. It's a bit of a strange configuration like that, but okay. I guess it works. Um, let's see, so we can, I guess, still put in, oh yeah, side turrets, perhaps. Um, no, side guns, these. Maybe, oh, we cannot go smaller? No. If we, if we now put in the 10 inches there, they have a 20, yeah, maybe that's a good, how are we with funds? So only one. Hmm. Because it one would fit here. If we put in secondaries, those would also fit. Okay. We put in something like this. It's not the most efficient, but ship is overweight. Okay, well we can always deal with that. We can just slightly increase this. The problem is mostly that we're now at 63% of the naval spending. So that makes it a bit more difficult to get two of these. Um, we still have to put in some case chase, casemates, casemate guns. Yeah, they're, they're not that important actually for this ship now, but I guess they're also not that expensive either to put in. Should be okay. Uh, the problem is though that well, we need to s cut the cost somewhere. So if we look here, we now have like, let's see, where was that again? Weight costs here. The engine is a lot advanced tower too. I don't know what that is. Advanced Tower 2. Oh, it's this one. Okay. Okay, so... Ooh. And and how much is then Advanced Tower 1? Oh, it's almost half. Yeah, I think we have to do that then. Yeah, yeah, that will make it a bit cheaper at least. A rear tower, actually. Oh, that's not so expensive. That's also the cheapest one, so that's fine. Um, yeah, the engines, huh? that's the big expense here. I think the turrets and everything is okay-ish. Uh, ammunition might be uh, something that we can reduce the spending on. If we go for this one, it will sh yeah, shave off 2%. If we go, oh, we already did. If we reduce this, no, it doesn't really help. It just helps with the weight, but yeah, exactly. So we might as well just put that in. 
Uh, oh yeah, armor cost, I guess. This is expensive. Yeah, it is. So if we go for the nickel steel, we can always increase the... Uh, or uh, In the worst case, we can also decrease the speed a bit, I guess. Or increase this. The more beds we can just do with the same stuff. Ooh, I mean, this might be something that. Yeah, it was shaved of 1%. Okay. I think we have to keep this and this one. I mean. Oh. Let's see again. Did it shave off some costs? Yeah, no, mostly weight. Uh, coal uh, also doesn't really make a big difference. I mean, here is going to be a big difference. You would assume. <laughs> but again, a more expensive ship is also... If we go with, with this... Okay, that was shave of something. Enhanced reloading, it is then. Um, if we go with only hydraulic turrets, oh, that also shaves off some. It's also nice. Rangefinder. No, that doesn't really break the bank. No. Okay. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Let's see. So it's still the engines that are a big expense. Uh, I mean, the hull we cannot do. Well, we cannot change. Well, we can change the. Uh, I guess we can change the um, the armor a bit more, but I I think that that should be okay-ish. Uh, I mean, we do have to shave off like uh, 1.5 million of in costs. Let's see, so what makes up 1.5 million? If we remove one turret, I don't know which one it is, but... If we were, uh, is it all the turrets or something combined? Oh, the armored belts we might be able to save some money on. I don't know whether it's a good idea, but it's... Uh, I mean, we can reduce... Oh, sorry. Not increase. Reduce the belt a bit. Uh, I don't think it will matter a lot. Cunning tower, we might as well also lower a bit. We we don't want to go too low with all of this. Still has to be safe for our, uh, our purposes of attacking a convoy. So we now need to shave off like 1.2 million still. And the engines is the biggest expense that we can save money on, but the problem is... Okay, if we would do this... I mean, the weight increases a lot. But, if we now say, okay, let's just accept that the speed is going to be a bit slower. 25 knots, which is still okay. We're almost there. Almost. Um, hmm. If we reduce the bulkheads now... Yeah, that would make a difference. Is the, uh, if we uh, remove the anti-torp defense, yeah, that makes a difference as well. So, I mean, we're also now just reducing the weight. Can we still? Oh, yeah, we should be able to. Just for that. Can we can we get twenty six knots perhaps? No, the cost will increase too much. So this is uh, that's it. That's it I guess. We can still lower If we now again go for the white powder, no, no, that's too, it's too much. Yeah, 
And I do want the shell penetration to be okay. I think this is going to be it. I mean, we, we can still increase it. Well, maybe we can just increase the armor a bit then again. Oh, no. Yeah, it's the weight. It's the weight, of course. Look. This would work. Okay, I think we will have to resort with this then. Yeah. Let's go ahead. Let's see how it goes. Okay, so sorry, this is not the third time I tried this mission. Two attempts failed. I lowered the graphical quality <coughs> because I had two crashes. So hopefully this will work out. So the idea is that we now <coughs> proceed first towards the uh, transport vessels. Does, doesn't look that great. to our previous attempts in with the better graphic quality. But yeah. As long as it works. It does play a lot better now. So hopefully no more crashes. Attacking, of course, the escorts. Let's see whether we can destroy maybe this ship. Oh, fire. Oh, torpedoes. Better just lower the speed a bit. Getting hammered. Still doing okay. This one is getting a bit more structural damage right now. Ok, 
Okay, but now we're starting to focus on the transports. And of course, those should be uh, sinking pretty quickly. Go to turn. Ah, that one should be a goner already. How's this one doing? Well, the funnels have been uh, have been damaged, but I think we can still make some decent speed. Okay, that one is gone. <laughs> now we're going this direction, up to the next of the transport ships. It's already hit. And burning. I don't forget all the small caliber fire is still very effective against these. You can see all the small calibers, the two and the three inches, just firing away. Now once the 12 inches hit, then... Oh, the famous is now... Hit. And this one is also a corner. Yeah, that one is a corner. Next. We once the 12 inches start to hit, then they're they're just toast. One and another one, and here come some more shells. <laughs> I mean, it's of course I I didn't add the uh, 12 inches for nothing. Those are just the most effective guns in terms of size and reload speed. Especially against these lightly or non-armored targets, they will hit hard. Next one, Trident. Can we just increase the speed a bit, maybe? 24 knots? The thing is, the funnel of this ship is damaged, so... The Trident is already getting hit. They're now zooming in, yeah. Now zoning in. 
think this is what is a corner as well. But we should be taken care of. We should bend again a bit. I mean, it's definitely now full stop. Okay, I think one more salvo and then we switch targets. Yeah, we should be able to switch targets right now. Okay, we're going for this transporter. First we just need to eliminate the transporters and then we can focus on the rest. Detonation. The trident is sinking, and of course, now. Wow, 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 wow. Okay. Next, we have one more transport ship. In the meantime, we can just target this light cruiser. The um, uh, cruisers are also now getting slowly uh, more and more damaged. I mean, the, the, the turrets are still going fine, but we have some fires now. And of course, we do have to take care of any torpedo attacks. That's why I'm also focusing now on, the, uh, on this light cruiser. This one is not probably also gone. Okay, how are we doing? We're still making progress towards the, the last of the undamaged transport ships. This one should be a goner. <laughs> and now zoned in as well. Okay. Let's just make sure that this one sinks. That's sufficient. Now let's focus on the next transport. Now we just have to the Hirondelle. 
Just have to sink that one. Take one more hit and it's... Yeah, the Hirondel is sinking. Slow down a bit. I do want to make sure that this one is burning. Why is the Ranger not firing at the moment? Is it too damaged? I think it is. It's also pretty low in the water. Ah, oh, it shouldn't be sinking. It doesn't have any flotation issues. Ah, the guns are traversing. I think by the time it has traversed its guns, the famous will likely already. Yeah. That was it. We were finally now successful. At least we could complete the mission. So, that was the armed convoy attack mission. I hoped that you all enjoyed that one. I certainly did. I hope that next time we will not have any issues with, of course, uh, crashes again. But um, yeah, it is what it is. It's an alpha build, of course, so we know that it's not ideal yet. So the next one would be to, you know, for the destroyer attack, which will be the attack convoy with a destroyer flotilla. Design a destroyer flotilla can eliminate an enemy convoy and its escort. The enemy has a strong cruiser for protection that only to uh, what? For protection that only torpedoes can harm it. The enemy has a strong okay. You can use two types of destroyers, big destroyer leaders or standard destroyers of smaller displacement. But like I said, we will do this one next time, and uh, I will be. Um, I it's interesting to see how a destroyer works because we haven't tried destroyers yet in the game, so that will be the first. Okay, well, like I said, hope you enjoyed, and don't forget to like um, if you like this video, and or place any comments in the comment section if you uh, feel like, and uh, hope to see you again next time. See you around.